Alrighty. Welcome back to another episode of Casual Play, Casual Help, episode 89. Previous episode, we had a pretty good game with Ra the Sun God. But today, we should, we'll should be looking at Raijin. Oh, pfft. Excuse me, how did we go from, from Raijin to Achilles? Thank you. Raijin, the Master of Thunder. Off to his skins, as always, the standard. The Pal Swap, Nimbus. Pal Swap with additional features, Thunder's Roar. Devil's ho Devil Horns, if, if you're into Kiss, which I usually like to go. Drums Out, if you like Donkey Kong and Monkey. An interesting thing about this skin with his ultimate, because his ultimate, he uh, smashes down on his drums to, to do, uh, like, uh, thunder stuff but but when he's the monkey he throws barrels so funny his orc skin war chief which if there's like another orc on the team up I'll, I'll, I'll go but no actually I think I got this recently from uh, from, uh, from a chest next we have base demon turns him into one of those techno guys they gave him a plushy skin? Okay, I never knew about this. This is cringe. And then as a part of the Slipknot, the X-Smite, for Raiden we have Clown. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Jay. And... Michael? Mikael? I, I don't know. Uh, I think out of the three... Mm, I'll take J. But, off to his abilities. His first one, per Percussive Storm. Raijin pounds his drum, sit sending forth a peal of thunder on a line, then another, then two at once. So basically, one, two, three, four. The thunder thunder deals, deals magical damage. Of course, because he's a mage. Second ability, Raiju. Raiju is that little spirit thing that you see around him. Uh, he dispenses his ally Raiju to, uh, to go into the to the enemy while asleep. Raiju slows and reveals the, the target to, uh, to, ru to ru uh, Raijin's team on the minimap. Next time Raijin hit, hits the target, Raiju awakens and claws his way out, doubling the slow and damaging the target and five nearby nearby enemies every 0.5 seconds for 2.5 seconds in his attempt to flee. Subsequent enemies hit take decreased damage. His third ability, Thunder, Thunder Crash, Raijin sends forth a bolt of lightning, crashing down, at, crashing down at his ground target location, mesmer, mesmerizing the enemies. Where Raijin himself ascends into the sky. Shortly thereafter, he crashes down at the location, doing a second burst of damage to all enemies in the area. And then his ultimate, uh, uh, Tycho Drums. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. He flies into, flies above the battlefield, beating his drums four times to summon peals of thunder with each hit. Uh, you can have you have uh, three different beats. His beat one, where you just do 100% of the damage, you just hit, hit, hit. Second beat, uh, you taunt enemies, which t which brings them towards you, but you only do 30% of the damage. And beat three is you fear them, which means to go away from you, and you only do 30% of the damage. And while in the air, Raijin suffers a 20% movement speed slow. His passive charge tempo. For every five abilities cast, Raijin re reduces the cooldown of all abilities currently on cooldown, including the one just cast by two seconds. Additionally, Raijin's basic attacks ha have a wider radius of, of plus two. So what that's saying is, is that Chronos Pendant is completely broken on Raijin. Because you because you have like because you have the every ten seconds you get a, 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 a minus one cooldown on your on your abilities. On top of minus two for every five, so pretty much Chronos Pendant is just amplifies his passive, and Book of Thoth is is mandatory because <laughs> you will be using a lot of of mana. You can also look at Momo. And also, I didn't know this, but apparently the Battle Pass skins of Unicorn, Dragon, Jackal, and Phoenix give you Odyssey points. 
which is nice because because I didn't know uh, that they would do that. So basically, I just get get more uh, free stuff. I like free stuff, but that doesn't mean there wasn't a price, and that price is grind. A lot of uh, lo login bonuses for get getting the fifty gems, fifty gems a week. Then also doing the battle pass stuff. Uh, which do I want to go? Because I really do do like his uh, devil horn. Because believe it or not, my dad gr grew up in in the in the seventies, eighties, and nineties, and I, and I got to be uh, brought up on his music of Metallica, Kiss, uh, AC/DC, Led Zeppelin. You know, the classics. And I had my brother to teach me uh, the new stuff. Skillet, Avenge Sevenfold, maybe some Imagine Dragons, Linkin Park, Coldplay. All the good ones. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of conflicted if I should do Tainted Steel, because Anubis is going to be a bit of a problem in the later game with his lifesteal. But... And I'll... I think I'll just stick with what I usually do of Vampiric Shroud. But, that, but the Kepri is probably going to be annoying with his get-out-of-jail-free uh, ultimate. Cruise pendant. Hellos, get locked. Uh, sure, enemies with barrels of light. Oh, I was like, who's doing that? Uh, it's it's Ravana and his uh. Deep, I think I would call them the uh, DJ skins. Because they pretty much do the. do a lot of the same thing. Because Zeus has one where he's. Uh, where he's a DJ called Heaven's Rave. Uh, Ganesh has one where he's mimicking uh, Daft Punk. But there was also another another band that my brother introduced me to. And the tick damage of, with of Anubis and and Kuku Khan is is probably going to be absolutely horrendous. Now it's not the time to be a hero. Oh, Wait, do we seriously ha have enough to, to get Kronos? Oh, yeah, we do. Well, we have to wait a little bit. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. I can tell you for a fact that I did not. Yeah, next we'll be going for Book of Thoth, which gives us additional mana for every stack we get. Some minions and kills. 
which is mandatory. Gilgamesh, I don't I think you don't know what you're doing. So with Raijin, the typical combo is your two Raiju, then hit them with your, uh, your drums. And once you get into the late game, that's... I don't know what is going on. Uh oh. I looked at the sun. Being in a battle with with almost less than full health isn't necessarily a, a good idea. Can be, sort of bait the enemy, but not always. Gotta get the damn stuff before they do. Minion problem. Oh yeah, and also with his uh, his thunder strike ability, depending on how, depending on if you're cl if you're closer or, or not, is how fast you go. So if you're closer, your your leap will go faster. Okay. So then go over to Rada Tahuti. Deals additional damage. If the enemy is below 50% health, which is which is very devastating. I should know. I've been on the receiving end many times. I'm taking a chance. Go away. What is he building? Okay, he has some defense. Nice Wait, Medusa doesn't doesn't have an artifact. Weird choice, but okay. No weird choice. But Yeah, that Mesmerize can really stop somebody in their tracks. Oh, 
I will place this on my enemies like meat drums. Yeah, purification, nullify crowd control. Mainly Medusa's ultimate if I don't look away in time. Okay, she just went right towards me. No. Oh, I thought she was she was too late. Got him. I wish there was like a special thing that you could do with Raj where he just starts playing his drums. Not really, I just used my ultimate. Which, yeah. Which, in all uh, honesty, isn't really that hard to use because it has such a wide berth. A wide bowling lane. Hades, please help me! I was getting beaten up by a demon from doom. The least you could do is say, hold up, silence. And then I think there was some cheapified snake woman involved. As always with the Spear of the Magus, always a good idea to have additional damage. Excuse me! The next is going to go Spear of Desolation. It gives me cooldown every time I get a kill or, or an assist. Excuse me, Hades, you want to detonate? Very nice. Also, I don't remember what accent Devil Devil Horn Raiden speaks in, because it's one of those like unique type of uh, cadences. I don't remember from where. Post, leave in the comments the people that don't like my names. Oh, I thought I had enough. Is he going? Yeah, he's going to attack speed. Wait, how many dead? Yes, seven. He just has nine. Oh my goodness. Okay. Very nice indeed. 
and then get shut down immediately. That's how it is on the right side of life. Top one day, yep, the next, you're a clown. Frank and John. Instead of going another item, we'll be upgrading to Sacrificial Shroud. Basically, it gives me 15 ad additional da damage from, from my abilities, but at the cost for 5% of, of my health. Nope, I'm getting out of that. I don't think Pokemash knows what he's doing. Oh, we didn't get ours yet. off with a potion of might. Almost to a thousand. But close enough. Towns, Soldier, and Magus. I don't know who's laughing, but you don't need to. Anyway, as always, hope you've learned something, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.